Hello and welcome back. So recently I posted this poll in the community tab that we can have multiple main methods in Java class. True or false? And here 73 percent people are saying that this statement is false. That means 73 percent people are saying that we cannot have multiple main methods in Java class. So this triggered me to make this video. So in this video we will see that can we have multiple main methods in Java class or not and that we will see by doing itself. Okay. So for that let's jump to Eclipse or any other ID whatever you are using. Okay. And here I am having one simple class. Okay. And inside that our public static void main method with string array argument. Okay. Simple sysout statement inside main one. Okay. So we know right this is the entry for our Java program, right? JVM calls this method. Okay. Now let me copy this and if I paste, obviously this will give compilation error. Okay. But this question is tricky. Okay. It's not simple that you copied this method, paste it over here, and you are saying that no, it's not possible to have multiple main methods in Java class. Okay. It is not simple as one, two, three, or like this. So, try to understand this okay this is very tricky thing so we know right in java we have concept of method overloading okay so if we use over here say we have this parameter as string okay in this main method now we are good so let's run this java program because we don't have any compilation error see inside main one okay so this will not get called okay let me do inside main two and then run again okay yeah so now this method is called because jvm is calling okay but this will not get called until and unless we call it say for example main and empty string okay so this method we are calling over here now let's run our java program inside main one and main two because we are calling this method okay the overloaded method basically now you can have another main method as well. Okay. Let me copy this public static void main inside main three. Say for example, it's a int. Okay. And return type is not void. Say it's int and return zero. Now call the method main say one. Okay. So this is another main method, the third one basically. Now, if we run our Java program inside main 1, 2 and 3. So basically, we can have multiple main methods in Java class. So you don't need to just say like, yes, it is possible. Okay. So if you are asked that, can we have multiple main methods in Java class, then give the complete answer like, yes, we can have with the concept of method overloading. Don't just say yes and hold over there. Okay. Don't do that. Say. It is possible with the help of method overloading in Java. Okay. So yes, we can have multiple main methods in Java class with the concept of method overloading. This seems to be very simple. Okay. But it's tricky. So it will hardly take two to five minutes. Okay. If you think you are not clear on that, just open your ID and do it yourself. Okay. It will give you clear idea. And the best part is you will never forget this one. Okay. If you do yourself, this two to five minutes will make your concept very clear for lifetime. So you might be asked this kind of question in interview for the Java developer profile. And I hope this video helped you in that. So that's all for this video. If you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like the video, do comment in the comment section and share with your friends. We'll see you in the another video. Till then, happy learning and Happy coding!